It has a strong affinity to the estrogen receptor, increasing activation of this receptor and leading to numerous endocrinology disorders like low sperm count, abdominal levels of progesterone, disruption in ovulation. That's now where I have a mycotoxin or a compound created by a mold that's affecting our reproductive hormones and our endocrine system. Disruption, oh sorry, disruption of ovulation reduces integrity of gut lining, leading to intestinal hyperpermeability. But this is creating what's colloquially called leaky gut. And so those gaps between those tight junctions are open quite a lot, uh, and reduces the integrity of the gut lining. So not only are they opened more, but that that mucous membrane that we spoke of, uh, it's actually kind of more like a net, a network, and those, there's getting larger holes in it. So reduces gut microbiota diversity. So that's one of the things that we're saying is important. It's not necessarily about having, you know, this amount of this and not this, but having a wide range of diversity. Even some of the ones that have a bit of a bad rap, we want small amounts of them in there. It's reducing the diversity of our gut microbiome.